Here's the noon update for June 3rd, 2013 on S&P 31 minute chart. Essentially we have an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave, a zigzag. And within the C wave we have five waves down and we have a, have a possible ending diagonal formation forming right now. Let me show it to you. Two day chart. As you can see, up A, B, C, D. This is an ending diagonal forming. This is a bottom call that I usually make and I, whenever I see these formations you get the fuck out of your short, okay? If you see that, get the hell out. The Dow, any diagonal A, B, C, D, yeah. They're all having any diagonals. Except for NASDAQ. That's, that's the only difference is NASDAQ. But uh, on the 10-day chart, let's see what I'm seeing right now. That's and right now, let's see. Yeah, A, B, A wave, B wave, C wave. One, two, three, four, five. Five waves down any diagonal. And you get one more push down, I'm going to buy. And my last trade was I shorted, um, I bought SPXU right at the, right near the breakout at around 23.20. And I made, um, sold at 23.70, made about 5,000 on make, on this trade. So my next trade could be a, could be a long trade, uh, a really strong long trade. Could be like a big, massive long trade coming up soon. So um, essentially what I'm seeing right now, just be careful if you're short. I'm seeing it right now. A wave, B wave, C wave, zigzag. A equals C, all right? 1624, A equals C. And then within the C wave, we have a zigzag and a five five wave pattern. Within the five wave pattern, we have any diagonal. That's a bit, that's a mouthful. So whenever you hear that much shit from me, get the hell out of your short. That's a wrap.